My next guest won his sixth straight fight this past weekend at CES 32. Kyle Bochniak is back on the program. Kyle, how the heck are you? How are you, man? I'm, I'm doing very well. Uh, glad to have you back on the program. And uh, big win over the weekend, like I just mentioned off the top. But, uh, you know, going into that fight, you were supposed to fight a guy by the name of Bill Jones. Uh, was there much of an adjustment in terms of your training camp to get the new opponent? Um, no, not, not too big of an adjustment. Um, we got the, the switch about three weeks out. Um, they they both have got, um, very similar styles, grapplers, you know, um, they got heavy hands. So basically the game plan was to stay outside of their lead foot to their left, my right, keep circling to the right and just try to hit me with my right hand and then close the distance and get the RNC. And that's basically what happened. So, yeah, uh, yeah it was, it wasn't too, too, too different. Yeah, I was, I was going to say, uh, you know, once once you went in there, you got the submission. Uh, did you feel like he wasn't going to let go, like like it was game over for him? Because, I mean, you just came out guns a-blazing in that fight. Yeah, I, I did. I came a little aggressive, a little almost too aggressive. <laughs> yeah. It was 10 months that I got in there, and I knew I needed to get a, a fast win. And, you know, I, I let the nerves get the best of me, and I went in there, and I, uh, I, I put on a good show for everyone. But I, I wish I was a little bit more calm. But, you know, I got the W. It wasn't as pretty as I wanted it to be, but it, 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 you know, it's a W, so it's good. Yeah, what were some things? I mean, I know that it was just a first round win, so there's not too much to assess. But was there anything you felt you could have improved on more in the fight? I mean, you mentioned you were a little aggressive, but were there any other things? Um, you know, just instead of chasing the guy, cutting him off. You know, that's just I, I worked on that. I'm very good at that. I don't know. I just kind of once I went forward and he backed up. The, the cage is pretty big. I forgot how big it was, but. When he went straight back, instead of getting him against the fence, he kind of circled out, and I just chased him against the fence. I wish I just kind of cut him off a little bit, you know, time my shots a little bit better. But, you know, that's just a trait, I guess, being a champion whatever. But I just want to get better. And, you know, but the, otherwise, the performance, it was good. I liked, you know, I mixed in a lot of transitions, some knees, some elbows. I rocked him a couple of times, and, uh, you know, I took his back in a scramble, and I got the RNC. So, overall, I'm, I'm happy with my performance. How did you celebrate after the fight? I went to Johnny Rockets, got a nice burger and a milkshake, and, uh, you know, I came back, went to bed, and uh, had some good breakfast, and just basically celebrated by eating and whatever I wanted, and on Monday, you know, I just went right back at my diet, and uh, just trying to plan out a couple next opponents, see what's, what's in um, the future for me. So you had, like, kind of like a 48-hour rule, right? Like, you, you won the fight, and then you kind of took the day off, and then you were right back in on Monday. I mean, that's uh, that's pretty impressive, man. A lot of guys would probably take some time off, but I guess you wanting to get right back in there. Yeah, well, I'm not, you know, I'm not going 100%. I'm, I'm still going real light. No, no, like, sparring or rolling. Just, you know, in the air, presence. So my mind's still there, you know, watching my coach teach, you know, go through the, the motions. But, yeah, pretty much scaling back quite a bit for this week and then get right back into it. Yeah, I was going to say, so next week, that's when you'll kind of go back to normal, or are you going to take, yeah, a, you know, yeah. okay, yeah, gotcha. I run it again, and I'll start, you know, getting back in there and sparring. Absolutely. You deserve some time off, man. Big win here. So, you know, i got to give you some credit there. Um, I'm sure you got a lot of positive feedback after the fight. What was one message that really stood out compared to the most? Um, You know, uh, just a lot of people, how, how supportive they are, and it almost was overwhelming, you know, people coming out everywhere just saying, you know, Kyle belongs in the UFC, all this, you know, no surprise he won, you know, so it, it was, it, the, the support was very, very awesome for all my families, my friends and my teammates. So, um, you know, just, just the recognition of people seeing who I, I truly am as mixed martial artist, it, it all was overwhelming. It all, you know, I'm grateful for everyone basically just supporting me so there really wasn't one two specific thing that i can t remember at the top of my head but other other than everyone just really supporting me and, um congratulating me that's awesome uh you mentioned what's next uh you know already kind of getting back into the swing of things uh ces is doing a card in march uh, ces 33 uh, i know um you know they, they've I, they haven't really announced any fights on there but uh is, is that kind of the plan for you to get on that card or or are you looking at other promotions I uh, no, no, you know, definitely want to stay with CES. Um, I consider that my my home. I, I like Twin Rivers. I know they're doing a couple of shows at Foxwoods. You know, I, if March doesn't seem to be right, then you know I'll do April, which is at Foxwoods. But I'm definitely looking to you know get back in the cage every three months. You know, I I got supposedly you know sh shake the rust. I took ten months off, so I got the ring rust off. That's a little that's that's why I was a little over aggressive. But uh, you know, I'm looking to be um. 
every three months or so right now I'm trying to get another opponent. So definitely for March, if not April, if that doesn't happen, you know, it would probably be a very uh, a good opponent and, um, the next time I get in there. So got to get ready. Now, Kyle, you don't strike me as the type of guy to call anyone out. You seem like a pretty polite guy, but but I got to ask, you know, at the very least, you got to have some people on your radar. Is there anyone kind of in particular you would like to fight next uh, kind of in, in your area? Uh, in my area, <laughs> I would love to, <laughs> obviously in UFC, for us, I know Rose's opponent backed out, but, you know, let's see. No, there's not anyone else I, I would like to call out. Whatever CS has in store for me, and uh, what my my head coach and them, I let them figure it out. And, you know, I just I focus on once I get the person, then I'll focus on their, their film, whatever. And then, you know, it's that person basically on my mind 24-7. But for right now, I'm relaxing after that fight. You know, get back in there running, just mentally get back in the gym and um, just, just see who they throw out there. You know, they'll probably give me a couple of names, decide what I want to do, and then take it from there. And uh, you mentioned UFC Boston, obviously coming up on Sunday, uh, January seventeenth. Uh, what's the vibe like? I mean, I know you have a couple teammates and, and you know or friends and things like that that are going to be on the card. Um, it, is it kind of like a, a buzzing atmosphere right now out there? Oh yeah, it's it's huge. Everyone's trying to go there. Everyone's wants to watch it. We got three guys from um, CES on that card, so it's it's really cool. Kind of the kind of support in the CES. Um, CES is doing big things right now, so. Yeah, it's it's very really, uh the buzz everyone's here, everyone wants to go. It's gonna be packed, you know, the whole community, the northeast community is gonna be there. So it's definitely a place you wanna be. Now are you a guy that likes to go to the sports bar and watch that or would you rather watch it at home with family and friends? Um, I'm probably gonna go with um, my fiance, go watch it. Um, just us two. Really don't wanna be in a huge crowd, just go in the seats, watch from a spectator view and do some homework. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, studying studying some uh, future opposition there. Uh, my last question for you here. How many times would you like to fight in 2016? You mentioned every three months. Uh, you know, I'm guessing, you know, three, four times this year? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, I, w- I would love to fight a minimum three times. You know, four, awesome, five, but great. Depending on, uh, you know, any injuries, bruises. But, you know, I think three would be awesome. Five would be fantastic. So, what do you are 6-0. and A UFC uh, call-up has got to be coming pretty soon. How close do you think you are to going to the UFC? Um, I think I'm pretty close. <laughs> I, got, uh, <laughs> I got, a, got a couple of peoples in their air, and uh, it's all about just a matter of time right now. I mean, I'm in perfect shape right now, so if anything else happens, um, you know, Rose's opponent or whoever else, I'm ready to go. I'm on weight, just fought in shape, but let's see, you know, there's another card in January 30th, there's one in February, so uh, I'm, I'm always going to be ready. I'm going to stop my cut just in case. If I get that call, I'm ready, so, um, you know, be optimistic, keep grinding, keep moving forward, and good things happen. Good stuff. Well, we certainly look forward to it, Kyle. Uh, thanks again for joining me here on the program. Just remind my audience where they can find you on social media and give any thank yous or shout outs. The floor is yours. Yeah, um, uh, I just want to thank my head coach, Sean Clark, and um, Peter Welch uh, as well, uh, over at Peter Welch's gym. And uh, I want to thank all my teammates at Broadway Jiu-Jitsu, my fiance Brittany Elaine, uh, Koa Mill for my last out walkout shirts. They were awesome. And uh, just my family and fans, just thank you for everything, and big things are coming.